church. Amen. The Lord's Supper that we are taking today is a memorial of what Jesus did in the past. It is a symbol of our present relationship with him and a promise of what he will do in the future. The Lord's Supper we commemorate today looks back on the death of Jesus on the cross. In our Bible, we have the Gospel accounts of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which give their accounts of the Lord's Supper. From Luke 22, verses 19 and 20, on the evening he was betrayed, while Jesus was eating a meal with his disciples, he took some bread and said, This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He each ate a piece of his bread. So when we participate in the Lord's Supper, we each eat a piece of bread in remembrance of Jesus. In the same way after the supper, Jesus took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood which is poured out for you. When we drink a small amount of the fruit of the vine at the Lord's Supper, we remember Jesus' blood was shed for us and that his blood inaugurated this new covenant. Paul in 1 Corinthians 11, verse, verse 26, emphasizes this memorial concept. For whenever you, or whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The Lord's Supper commemoration today is the time we take each week to reflect and repurpose our lives and commitment to him. Ask yourself, what is your present relationship with God and Jesus? The crucifixion of Jesus has a continuing significance to all who have taken up the cross to follow him. We continue to participate in his death in the new covenant because we participate in his life. In the Lord's Supper, we show that we share in Jesus Christ we commune with him. We are united with him. We share in his crucifixion, death, resurrection, and his life. Our lives are in him, and he is in us. The Lord's Supper pictures this spiritual reality. Paul also wrote in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 16, It is not because of thanksgiving for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of Christ. And is not the bread that we break a participation in the body of Christ. So the Lord's Supper helps us look up with Christ and be mindful that true life can only be in Him and in Him. <coughs> Last, while we endure our trials on earth, the Lord's Supper reminds us of Jesus' promise to return and our hope of eternal salvation. The Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke all account for Jesus' words. Jesus said he would not drink the fruit of the vine again until he came in the fullness of the kingdom. When we participate in the Lord's Supper, we are reminded of Jesus' promise. On the return of Jesus, there will be a great celebration. The Lord's Supper we take today, the bread and the fruit of the vine, are just miniature rehearsals of what will be the greatest victory celebration in all history. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 11.26, For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Pray for the bread. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for giving us your son, giving his body for us. As we take this bread, we pray that we take it in a worthy manner. Help us to reflect. Thank you for him and his name. Through him we pray. Amen. Amen.
pray for the God. Jesus, thank you for your death. Thank you for shedding your blood for us. Thank you, God, for being him for us and providing us this new covenant. Thank you for him. In his name we pray. Amen.